Hello, and welcome to Easy PRP. We're going to demonstrate a technique for making PRP that is quick and cheap. It's suitable for medical offices or clinics anywhere in the world with electricity. The vacutainer tube used in this method has not been submitted to or approved by the US FDA for this use. Therefore, the manufacturer is not permitted to support its use in this method. The equipment you will need is just a tourniquet for blood drawing, a vacutainer hub, and a test tube centrifuge capable of 3,000 to 4,000 RPM. These are available on the internet for about 100 to 200 US dollars. You will need chlorhexidine or a similarly strong antiseptic solution to clean the patient's skin prior to blood draw and to antiseptically clean the caps of all the ACDA tubes used. For supplies, you will need various needles and syringes. We found the 3 inch and 4 inch needles a little bit difficult to find, but they are available from Henry Schein, at least in the US and Canada. And last but not least, you'll need ACDA tubes. These tubes are available for medical supply distributors around the world and online. They're 100 millimeters long by 16 millimeters diameter and contain 1.5 cc's of ACDA. The typical cost in North America is about 75 cents per tube. Of course, if you have the test tubes, the caps, the ACDA, and sterilization capabilities, you can probably make them yourself. Now for the blood draw. First, assemble the butterfly needle and vacutainer hub by screwing them together. Then, antiseptically clean both the patient's skin and the cap of the ACDA tubes. In a normal blood draw, we wouldn't worry much about this, since it would be going to the lab. But this blood is eventually going back into the patient, so we need to be extra cautious to avoid contamination. Apply the tourniquet, proceed with the venipuncture, and draw as many tubes as needed. You can expect about one milliliter of PRP for each tube. Place the tubes into the test tube centrifuge, spaced equidistantly. Spin at 400 Gs for five minutes. You'll have to calculate the correct RPM since each centrifuge is different, and we're targeting the platelet layer, not the bottom of the test tube. Please view our video on centrifugation for the details. Put a 3-inch needle onto a 5cc syringe. Gently remove a tube from the centrifuge and, keeping it upright, move it to a firm, well-lighted surface. Antiseptically clean the cap and insert the needle through it until the tip of the bevel just touches the top of the red layer. Gently, without disturbing the red layer, aspirate the plasma, then withdraw the needle. Antiseptically clean the cap of a new, empty ACDA tube. Assemble the 1 inch 18 gauge needle on a small syringe. Then introduce the needle through the cap of the ACDA tube and withdraw all of the ACDA solution. Discard it. Now take the syringe full of plasma that you just obtained from the centrifuge tube and inject it into the new, empty ACDA tube. If you have multiple ACDA tubes in the centrifuge, then repeat the process with each one. You may have to empty more tubes of ACDA to create empty ones for the plasma, depending on how many you centrifuged. To concentrate your PRP, place the tubes of plasma into the centrifuge equidistantly. Add a ballast tube if necessary. Spin at 1000 Gs for 10 minutes. You'll have to do the RPM to RCF calculations again, since this time we're using a different speed and we are targeting the bottom of the test tube. When you remove the tubes, you should see a small pellet in the bottom of each one. That's your platelets. At this point, you will gently remove each tube from the centrifuge. Assemble one of the 4-inch needles on a 10cc syringe. Antiseptically clean the cap of the tube, insert the needle, and withdraw the top half of the plasma. Then, mix the ACDA tube to resuspend the platelet pellet. We use a vortex mixer, but any adequate mixing is fine. You now have a high concentration PRP ready for injection. You can withdraw it from the tube, remember to antiseptically clean the cap, and inject it immediately, cool it and then withdraw and inject it, activate it and then inject it, 
or just save it for later injection. As of this recording, in September 2019, nobody knows the optimal dose of PRP for anything. Few dose response studies have been published. However, we know from tissue culture studies, like the one shown here, that there is a dose response curve. We'll be talking more about PRP dosage calculations in an upcoming video. Most test tube centrifuges are calibrated in RPM, revolutions per minute. Since relative centrifugal force is specified in Gs, you'll have to convert Gs to RPM in order to set the centrifuge. Here's the formula. Calculators are available on many websites online and in our app, PRP Calc. Take a look at our centrifugation video for more details. In our hands, this method produced the results you see here. Your mileage may vary. For details on how to calculate your own PRP yield and other properties, you can view our video on Calculating PRP Yield. PRP preparation by this method, using ACDA tubes and a simple test tube centrifuge, is inexpensive, easy to learn, and consistently gives good results. It is not particularly efficient, however, if you need large amounts of PRP, and it does require some manual dexterity. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video.